In a world where space is starting to become a tourist industry and everyone who goes up wants to be called an astronaut, I figured, let's talk about a real astronaut. Welcome back to Topic of the Day, and today we're talking about NASA's best boy, John Glenn. John Glenn was a Marine Corps aviator from Ohio, but to save time since shorts are, well, supposed to be short, I'll summarize his military career for now. In World War II, John would train to be an aviator with the U.S. Navy before accepting a commission with the Marine Corps in 1943. When he became a second lieutenant during World War II, he would prove to be a man of good taste by flying the beautiful F-4U Corsair for a majority of the war. He would fly over 57 combat missions in World War II. And following that, in the Korean War, he would be sent to fly F-86 Sabres with the Air Force. And the Air Force would dub him and his jet the MiG Mad Marine. By 1945, John was well-known across America and well-respected in his field and would become a test pilot, trying out the latest and greatest commie-killing machines America could conjure up. Then NASA gave him a call. The Russians had launched Sputnik 1, and they needed John for the Mercury 7 program. The Mercury 7 mission was America's first attempt on getting astronauts into space by taking nuclear missiles and swapping out their payloads for, well, human beings. NASA loved showing off their seven shiny, brand new astronauts, but none of them as much as John Glenn. He became the face of the American space program. John Glenn was not the first to go into space, but the third. His ship would be named the Friendship 7. On February 20th, 1962, the Friendship 7 would launch. John Glenn into orbit, making him the first American to orbit the planet. After three orbits, he would return to Earth, making history. His work with NASA would help lay the way for the legendary Apollo program. He would never get a chance to go to the moon, but he would return to space as the captain of the Space Shuttle Discovery in 1998, making him the oldest man in space. I have a lot of respect for John Glenn. I even have his flight patch on my Steam Deck case. But that's the story of John Glenn. If you enjoyed, please like and follow for more. Thanks for watching.